started this Veg Fest. Um, there's been other vegetarian festivals in other cities, and we looked around and said, why not here? Um, so we're really excited to have the first one. Um, there's been a small group of people involved in organizing it, but we've reached out to a lot of different volunteers and so many vendors here today, which is really exciting. Some great speakers. Um, my name is Casey Nelson. I'm from Brattleboro, Vermont, and um, I own Vegan Beauty Boutique. Um, it is an online retail business that sells uh, vegan, uh, cruelty-free, um, mostly organic, um, beauty products and personal care products. So this is the first one and I didn't know what to expect and this is actually the first time I've been an exhibitor and I've been thrilled by you know the amount of people that have come to take part of the event and also the um, sort of the community that evolves within this um, this sort of vegan culture. My name is Michelle Alvarez and I work for Catskill Animal Sanctuary which is in upstate New York. We have 110 acres and we have a dual mission. We do emergency rescue of 11 species of farm animals from cruelty and neglect. So we have horses, cows, goats, sheep, chickens, pigs, turkeys, pot bellies, ducks, rabbits. Um, and then we have an education mission where we'd like to educate the public about all the benefits of vegan living. And we do that through a line of vegan cooking classes, uh, summer weekend tours, we have a summer kids camp, and we have special events. Susan Kudnowski. I'm Ed Stockman, and this is a uh, mass right to know GMOs uh, table, and we're interested in getting food labeled uh, in Massachusetts. I mean, conscious living, anybody who's consciously living wants to know what's in their food, and you can't know unless it's labeled. And that's what's uh, what we're being prevented from knowing in the United States now. Uh, 64 nations of the world have either banned or require, require GMO labeling of foods. There's only two industrialized nations that do not require it, the United States and Canada. Well, I hope they walk away getting an understanding of the, our connection to the rest of the animals on the planet and the need to take care of them and not abuse them. And also, I hope they walk away with an understanding that it's really very easy to be a vegan and to you know, eat a healthy diet that's good for the environment and protects animals.